All right, welcome back to Jump One Half. Hopefully, I can keep the recording a little bit shorter than last time. And Royal Palace by Level Engine. Level Engine's a scary guy. I hear he beat the Depraved Stronghold on his second attempt, so definitely a bit scared to find out what this level has in store. <laughs> so far, it's a lot of curtains. All right. So the one, these things that go side to side, I. Uh, are definitely not what I'm used to, so hopefully I don't mix them up with the regular ones. Hit this block. Well, that's not worthwhile at all. <laughs> Multi-hit coin blocks take so long uh, to activate, considering... Hey, I can spin jump with items now. It's great. Yeah, multi-hit coin blocks are just not really that fun to hit. <laughs> In general, that's the only reason why I don't bother with them. It just takes a long time, and you don't really get that much of a reward. Even a full up, straight up one up is not much of a reward in this game most of the time. <laughs> so, 10 coins, definitely not worth it. Alright, anything in this pipe? No. So far, this is just kind of a straightforward platforming level. Which is... Well, I guess, considering the last level was also kind of a straightforward platforming level, it's not too weird. It's not like it's a super rarity for this game. But... Alright, you can go down there. This uh, sparky guy just gets out of my way on his own. Alright, goodbye, Saw. I'm hoping I'm getting pretty close to a midpoint, and speak of the devil, it's right there. <laughs> okay. Weirdly, those fireballs don't even go through semi-solids. I thought that might be the case when it hit a cloud earlier in the other level. Whoa! This is certainly a thing. Gotta be on my toes for this one. It's gonna shove me up into the ceiling otherwise. That doesn't work. What am I doing? I'll have my fire flower. Okay, just lure those ghosts out of the way. Okay. This gimmick is definitely intimidating. Alright, so since I'm at the bottom, it doesn't seem to be rising. Assuming there's nothing in any of these pipes. Ah, oh, gosh. <laughs> okay, so it stops there. So I was worried before that it would slam me against the ceiling and crush me, but I guess that's not a concern, so I can be a little bit... I, I can treat these a little bit differently than I was. Right. Just gotta get through here before the P-switch runs out. Smack you. Whoa! Almost got bombarded by falling Koopa there, and I think I jumped through the platform too, so... Let's just... Whoa! Gosh! And then it raised the shell out and killed me. Okay, I'm just going to bounce on these Koopas, because I find Koopas a lot safer than platforms in this level. There might be something down there, I wonder. Oh yeah, there could definitely be a Dragon Coin down there. Ugh, that was close. I almost made it up. And this is really strange. Alright, let's put the boo there. <sighs> and watch, there's probably not even going to be a dragon coin back there. Oh yeah, there's a dragon coin right here, so maybe I shouldn't have worried too much about a dragon coin down here. Alright. Yeah, it looks like I just go down to the bottom here and I use this to get back up. So that was a waste of time. But I was very much trying to do something the level didn't intend me to do there. <laughs> Alright. It's clear that I need to go down here. The coins kind of... There's a lot of coins there. To make that pretty clear. Alright, I'm just gonna get this boo out of the way. By jumping you can just constantly make them go up, which is great. That's a trick that I used in further over there. 
and it was very important in that level. I would have struggled a lot more without it. Needed all the help I could get there, and... Oh, okay, so I need to lure you there? To bring up... Oh, to bring up the platform so that he kicks the... Okay, I did not really figure out that puzzle, but it just kind of solved itself. So now I need to... Okay, bring it down to the bottom. Get this boo out of here again. Wait. How do I get that guy to go up? Do I have to get him to... I guess it's just for cape, but... Ugh. Stupid eeries. I guess I gotta respawn him again on the platform. And then... No, that doesn't work. I don't get this puzzle at all. <laughs> I don't really care. I'm just gonna ignore the cape and keep going. Don't panic and try to just jump through them. Okay. So I've got to be really careful here when I send it up and when I send it down. I've been pretty bad at that so far, so hopefully this doesn't go too badly. Okay. Get you guys out of the way. I'll go on that block. And then I probably just want to jump to the one on the far right. Yeah, well, that kind of worked. I'm not dead, so that's a plus. So where is that last dragon coin? I bet I'm going to have to react quickly in this section. Okay. Well, that worked out alright. I thought the last dragon coin would be in there. I'm surprised it wasn't. It's pretty common for those types of areas to have a second path with the dragon coin on it, so to speak. Oh wow, how did that actually hit me there? <laughs> very hard to control. I, I, they do not feel intuitive to me at all. Burn fire? That's certainly possible, <laughs> I guess. I'm, I'm literally fighting fire with fire there. Alright, you guys get out of the way. Dang it, I suppose I'm not supposed to jump there. I suppose I'm supposed to just walk off. It just doesn't feel right. <sighs> now it feels like it's gonna crush me against the ceiling again. Alright, this room wasn't too bad. This time I've got a power up, so even if I make the same mistake as last time, it shouldn't kill me. That timing is, doesn't work out good initially. Alright, there we go. I'm glad that the uh, last dragon coin was just sitting there at the end, because I would have had no clue where it was otherwise. I did not see anything that looked suspicious uh, other than that cape that I never figured out, but I didn't... But that was clearly a, for a cape reward, so it wasn't like I was expecting a dragon coin for that. First half went very well, second half did not. <laughs> Breakdown Bastion. Is this going to be the level that finally causes us all to break down? I don't know. Or maybe it's going to be a disco related. Uh, Alright. Fish jump scare right away for some reason. <laughs> 
And then they threw more fish at me. I'm assuming they're gonna throw something other than fish at me. Alright. So, I think it's saying that the curtain on the right is meaningless and the curtain on the left drops things on you. But I don't know... I mean, I'm assuming it drops something other than fish. <laughs> yeah, meaningless. Try you. Alright. That was fine. See ya, Thwomp. Um, that's not what I was expecting. None of that was what I was expecting, but it kind of worked. Oh, shoot. Just started throwing things. Oh, darn it. Okay, so... Okay, now I can go. Gotta be very careful not to lose too much of my rightward momentum there. Okay, I can't scroll on this level, which makes sense. Jump over it, I suppose. There's probably something in there. Okay. Actually, there wasn't. Okay, just looks like a thwomp. So, just run under it. And now there's swimps, but whatever. Oh, okay. So, there's an eerie that came out over there. This isn't too bad, just don't rush it. Alright, I guess I gotta react. So that went fine. Gotta kind of work out quickly whether you need to take this part slow or take it fast, and also, I probably missed out on a puzzle over there. Well, okay. Guess throwing the shell into it or breaking it with the chuck were both viable options. Gotta wait till you're at the bottom. That eerie moves up and down quickly, so that's no joke. Alright. Oh, that's actually just a block. What is it? Uh, I'm confused. Hitting this doesn't seem to do anything. I feel like I'm supposed to break it with a chuck or the shell, but I don't have either of those. And I can't go back now. Like, am I just supposed to bring the shell through and throw it at this? Do I have to die because I didn't bring the shell? I don't... That's the only thing I can think of. It doesn't seem right, though. Alright, so... Looks like there wasn't something I missed. That's at least good to know, because it means I don't have to take another trip through the first half. I don't see... a shell anymore, either. Oh, I was supposed to bounce on that Charlie, I think. Okay, now he makes the blocks... Well, it's weird, kind of weird that you just get stuck if you don't do that. Alright, you come back, and wow, the behavior of that thing is weird. It's probably just the inverse of what it normally is, but it just feels so wrong. <laughs> So Charlie. I guess the exclamation mark is telling me don't wait under here because this is the wrong spot. You're gonna get hit by one of the things. <laughs> Just barely. Okay, that actually- whoa was the right reaction. Another one of these jank platforms. Thankfully the screen is scrolling pretty far to the right here. Oh. Well, I thought that was supposed to be safe. <laughs> like, I thought it would help me dodge the spikes, but that's not what it did at all, so... Give myself a fire flower. Alright, I've got to bounce on you, clearly. Yeah, I figured it would drop something on my head. What else was it going to do, right? 
Okay, this is just go fast and react, and that didn't work at all. Stay there. This has got to be close to the end soon, right? Oh man, there was something back there that I was missing, but what? One of these is going to drop more fish on me. Okay. Whoops. Or is this the dragon coin puzzle? Why is the <laughs> message block all the way up there? To the one who seeks the drag coins of the dragon, heed my words. The unfitting rug, it hides a secret. Okay, so back in this door, we need to find the rug that doesn't belong. And now that we have a cape, we can probably fly up here. Yes, it's this one. Um, well, I'm up here now. Alright, so now I'm da gonna go down. What did I... This is a pop-up one-up mushroom. So maybe I have to go in and out of the door again? Oh no, this is the this is that other room I saw earlier. I think, man, I am confused. <laughs> oh, okay, this room has changed now. I've got to go back through it again. Though I suppose I probably might have been able to just go in and out of that other door, but that's besides the point. So this room is probably going to be harder now. Good thing I lined myself up there to begin with. Those guys can't hit me, so just go. Oh yeah, this is a lot harder. Before it was just like, run to the side and that's it. Ironically, I did better this time and didn't get hit at all, but... <laughs> the platforming was definitely tighter. Alright, so now I can just go in here. Oh, come on. Couldn't you just let me have it? <laughs> I was so close. So what is the puzzle here? And that happens, apparently. And those are wimps. So I guess I've got to make the Koopa go back and forth the right amount of time, so I've got to figure out the right place to hit it. I do have a time limit, so I don't have forever to figure this out. There. And now I have my P-Switch. As long as I get the Dragon Coins, I'm good, but preferably I would kill the boss, too. Nice. I'm very glad that I have those now. I definitely feel a lot more uh, comfortable going forward. And now let's see if I can kill this boss in 80 Mario seconds. Uh, point of advice. Well... I only have 20 seconds. Let's see if I can beat the boss in 20 Mario seconds. Remember not to be hasty. <laughs> is... Are you using reverse psychology here? Or is that part of the trick? Okay. So it's just a re regular Resnor fight with uh, 20 seconds on the clock. Good thing uh, I fought Resnor enough times to not be too worried about that. <laughs> if it was a boss that I had to actually react to and do something new with, that would have been a lot more intimidating. Did the castle explode? Boom. Poor Boon is now dead. And Mrs. Resnor's opulent wall hangings failed to beguile Mario from his proper courses. Will there be giant killing this time for Mario up the beanstalk? The answer is no. Oh hey, we're going up the beanstalk again. That's not safe. Boon is dead, so we gotta switch to demo. Storehouse on the waterfall. Awesome. I might be able to get some new cool power-ups out of this. Whoa. And we can swim up the waterfalls here. Let's see what the life farm is in this area. We've got a disco. 
this is a nice one because you can just start hitting fast forward and let the disco do all the work. Well, it doesn't matter anyways, because I haven't gotten to the point where I really need to life farm at all yet. Okay, so it's vertical. The screen just stops scrolling right here. Let's see what's in here. Power-ups. Okay, so I can just go up these pipes and take whatever I want. Whoops. And it's ice physics for some reason. Probably the least intimidating ice physics in the entire game. And we found water. I'm glad we found water. Notice, welcome to the Cutoff Water Memorial Shrine. Please be respectful to the soldiers who died in the war. The Cutoff Water War. Maybe, maybe this is a pl time to just have a moment of silence. Is there a puzzle here? Ah, well, that wasn't what I wanted to do. I'm assuming this has something to do with the puzzle. Hmm, I clearly need to take damage. I don't see a way to do it in this level. I could just come in small, though. Wouldn't that work? So yeah. <laughs> Oh, it gives me a mushroom when I come in here. Oh wait, I just realized those Goombas are hitting each other. So if I were to jump up there and eat one... But how do I actually do that? Well, I almost had it there. Well, this doesn't feel like the intended solution, but I think it works. And it nets me, perhaps? These boots give you more control over your balance. You will no longer lose your momentum when jumping on a chuck or a disco shell. Oh, that's actually huge, but also will probably get me killed at least twice. All I needed was 25 levels, so really the important thing was just solving that puzzle. Well, I'm certainly glad I took the time to do that. Alright, one more level, I think. It will be it. Titanic, by Lol Yoshi. Also has a movie, probably for that secret exit. And we're already sinking, apparently, because the water is already very much in this ship already. Oh, maybe not. Let's go down to the lower deck and... Yep, oh, it's sinking. I, I think... I... think we'd better tell the captain. <laughs> I think if you downswim, you can uh, clip through these platforms. Well, this doesn't seem to be working at all. Okay, maybe that's the puzzle for the secret exit. I don't really see how to solve it yet. But who knows, maybe I'll get some clues later. And who knows, maybe it's for like a moon or something, but I feel like if it's that he heavily telegraphed, it's probably the secret exit. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. These guys are harder to run under because they uh, float so low. Dang it. That guy kind of forced me to wait there, but I chose the wrong place to wait. Oh, this is all water. <laughs> I was trying to jump around and stuff, and I was like, why didn't it do that much? Well, that was pointless. Let's go over here. 
This looks like something you'd see in Metroid, honestly. Okay, maybe I probably wanted to go downward over there. This looks like a pipe maze. Oh, well, there's a dragon coin, so we're going up there, regardless of what else we're trying to do. Dang it. Tried to duck or something, but... Unfortunately, I can't go down there anymore, so if I missed one, it, I just missed it. Oh, never mind. I can actually go back this way. Let's see if there's a dragon coin over here. Aha, there might be one this way. Nope, it looks like power-ups. Well, I want those too, so it's not like I'm complaining too loudly. And I did kind of just get a dragon coin. Well, that was certainly close. Okay, which way do I want to go? I've got all the time I want to think about it. Well, I can come back from here, so let's just go this way and see what's over here. Just walking forward seems to do this alright. Well, I hope this is a good idea. Well, I was hoping there's a dragon coin this way, but now I have no clue where I am. Okay, there's a dragon coin down there. I probably want to go up into that nook up there. Alright, this place is pretty safe. The corner is not. Ugh, I got hit anyway. I'm not really sure how to do that yet, but... I'm now up to three dragon coins. I would really like to hit a midpoint. Or another dragon coin. Alright. Classic blue pipe plomp setup. At this point, hitting the last dragon coin would be fantastic. I haven't missed it already. Alright, let's be careful. We want to hug the wall. This guy's already out of our way. Since there's two tiles wide, there's no place where you can be guaranteed to be safe just by uh, staying in like the middle lane or something like that. Alright, so I think I missed a dragon coin, but I hit the midpoint, so at least the first four are saved, and I just when I come back into the level, I just need to collect it, and that'll be that. Okay, this is... Big boo fight. Boink. Alright. Those lasers are not in my way this time. This doesn't seem too bad. Ugh. Whatever. I can just take the hit at this point. There's only one block to spare, but... It's not hard to avoid breaking them accidentally, so... So one dragon coin plus I need to get that secret exit. I... The dragon coin's probably just somewhere in that maze that I didn't explore. But the secret exit I really have no clue. Alright, so I didn't go up here. I didn't go this way at all. So this is probably the best opportunity to search. I get a feather. This doesn't take me anywhere. That's... it dumps me back there. Assuming this just brings me here. Yeah. So that's one way to get back here. The potobo's gone, which is nice. 
There it is. Alright. Now I guess I could continue searching this part of the level. Just in case it has something to do with the secret exit. I might be barking up the wrong tree looking at that other place. Hey, there's a door there. That's not the door I went in to reach the boss, was it? Yeah, this doesn't look familiar at all. Okay, so what's this way? Okay, the puzzle for the Dragon Queen was down there, and I've got this one block. It doesn't seem to solve anything for me earlier. Oh, okay, I see how you're supposed to get that Dragon Queen. You're supposed to go through this room. That would have been a lot easier. myself a one-up. Also, it's kind of pointless because I can just do that. And what's down here? I never went this way. Man, this... This maze is definitely turning me around. Alright, so I've just got to go in and out. This is tight. Okay. There's my P-switch. That's what I needed. That's got to be the way to the secret exit. Go back up here, go back down here, and we're home free. And this is easier to do on the way back, for sure. <laughs> you just walk like a normal human being. Okay, so now I got the P-switch. It makes it a little bit harder to control myself, but hopefully that's not too much of a problem. Blech. I don't think I have too much farther back to go, though. And I can throw the P-switch into this block to get the mushroom, so I get my power up back. I don't really care about the other thing. This is actually easier now. So now I gotta go up and back around, take this through here. Uh, I'm not gonna waste that power up, for all I know I'll be back here later for some reason. This is a lot harder now. It's a lot harder to duck into that middle section. I can't go down there, so don't need to worry about that. Go through here, hold down. Okay, here's the place to use it, go in here. Nice, I got a pop-up mushroom. Maybe that gets rid of that other platform earlier and allows me to just skip to here. I was wondering if there was going to be layers for a second. So what's the trick? It's just an on-off block. Oh hey, we fixed the ship! <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's not how the Titanic story was supposed to go, but... Works for me. Wait, what? I don't think I really accomplished anything in there, did I? Made the water go down. Oh, now I'm supposed to go back to that platform. Alright, so let's find my way backwards through this maze again. Alright, I think I'm practically home free at this point. Let's get myself a cape. That's helpful. I think just, this just takes me back easy. I thought the reason why you could go back and forth on all these areas was so that you could get all the dragon coins, but... Wait, how did I get back again? I think I need to go down. But everything has a purpose to get this secret exit. Gotta go down here. Then we go over here, and now I can get just swim back up. 
I don't think there's any more pipes at this point. I like swimming in this game a lot. You have a lot of control over your momentum, as opposed to other... Uh... Nice, this is probably going to be easier now. And apparently uh, that block also spawned for some reason. You jump over me, thank you. I'm just going to bounce off of you now. Yep, use the cape. Much easier to get past those spikes when you're just walking. You can just walk back straight past them before. Hey, it gives me a m moon too. Thanks, Lolly Yoshi. <laughs> Alright, not necessarily the greatest day for making progress. There were a lot of long levels here, but. It was definitely a good day for having fun, and that's what's important. So I can go to Amphibious Species or Cotton Candy Resort. I'm assuming one of those will lead to the uh, vaunted blue switch over there. And it's probably going to be this path. <laughs> See you next time.